yeah go straight go up let's look at some of the robot yeah i can see you i can see you go back oops oh the video started actually i was enjoying with the robot which we made in previous tutorials so if you want to learn how to make this robot do watch last tutorial so this is a, a tutorial series and if you want to have this robot directly with this environment you can download it from the description link so yeah as you can see we have camera integrated with robot it moves it translates it rotates these are pretty much basic things which a robot can consist of so now if you have camera the first thing what you will think about is object detection this seems difficult to non robotics people but let's see is it difficult or not we'll solve the problem today so first of all we'll learn how to enable the object recognition in the vbots and then we'll make some objects and we'll have fun so let's start so first of all for recognition we need to go to camera node so we go to robot inside robot we have children where there is a sliding joint so in sliding joint we have an hinge joint where there is a hinge which rotates the camera then we have end point which has a child camera so this is a pretty big tree where when we reach camera there is a property named recognition so we need to double click it in recognition we'll select this node they have some properties inside that node so it's maximum range this means we can recognize objects from range 0 to 100 meters maximum object minus 1 means we can recognize infinite number of objects and if for example there is a situation where we just need to detect 3 to 4 objects we can give the number here if there is an object behind this box we can detect it if the occlusion is false then frame color this defines if we detect an object what color we'll have a frame in our camera and frame thickness let's do it three is the thickness of that frame which shows the image has been detected so this is all about making changes in vbots now let's see what changes we need to make in controller so this controller comes with the vbot which we made last time so if you want to have this controller as well in the link given below you will have this controller ready and to open this if it's not open right click on robot and you see edit controller so if you click on this you see this controller so now in this controller we have a pointer to a member camera and we have enabled the camera so to enable recognition we'll use same pointer and we'll write recognize recognition enable and we we'll give it a time step that means so after every 64 milliseconds it will have an image which it will recognize so we are good to go let's save this let's i think we'll pause this we'll save this because let's name this as recognition okay so now we have saved this let's take it back and now we are ready with the recognition node so let's reset the environment yeah move the robot and rotate it's not recognizing anything oops then what is being missed i did this by on purpose so that if you are not able to recognize in spite of doing these two changes it's okay 
Now to recognize there is one more property so we'll show it by an object. So we'll make an object solid. We'll make a shape. Yeah. And we'll make a small cone. This is PBR. Geometry will be cone. If we see a cone in the center, we'll have its radius as 0.1 so that it's visible. 0.2. So, yeah, the cone is visible. Let's color the cone with red color. And as always, we remove the metalness. Let's change it to zero. I can see red cone. Let's translate it somewhere. Oh, we are lucky it came in our frame. Yeah. We'll save this because if you don't save it, it will not have the changes. One foremost thing which you need to remember is in recognize color inside the solid node which we made now, in recognize color, we need to set any color. But we need to check this recognized color in order to be detected. Okay, yeah. So now if you see solid, it shows green in color. That means it's selected. Now we save this. Okay, so now we reset and let's point the camera towards. See, we are able to de detect the cone. Now here we have set the box size to be constant. So now you see it's detecting the cone and this ball. The reason of detecting this ball is so if you see if I go in solid of this ball I have made this recognized color on. That is why it's not detecting the ball behind it. For existing solid, you can make changes in the color. And as you see, if I give any color, it doesn't matter. See, it started detecting that as well. So we are able to recognize the balls and the cone. So that means we learned how to recognize a base shape and other existing shapes. Our recognition practice. So now, let me check how can we detect this box. So this is a ready-made proto, right? You see wooden box. It would be great if we could recognize the wooden box. So let's do it. We click on wooden box. We right click it and we convert it to base node. And now it's solid. So it has recognition color. Even if I don't give any color, still this box, let's see, does it recognize the box? Oh yeah, it recognizes the box. So you see, if you have existing proto, you can convert it to base link and then on the recognition color and you can recognize. So this was all about recognition. It would be cool if you can recognize and make some game out of this. So in this case, you can even have a game where uh, you need to find an object which is the only thing which can be recognized and you can wander your robot around randomly and find that object. So I would be happy if you make such games and share the video with me on my Instagram handle which is soft illusion and if you like the videos do share and play around with robots. Thank you.